the bummers in the little theater of the air. desperate 
desperately in love with her. In two weeks, they were married. We returned to our country estate here. A week later, she was taken ill. Last night, we buried her. It's awful, isn't it? Well, no wonder your poor brother's mind is deranged. You have not heard all the tragedy yet. She suffered from a strange malady. Because of it, my brother was not allowed to see her from the hour she was taken ill. I see. I could not have my brother's life endangered. Naturally not. We allowed no one to see her. Dr. Simmons attended her. When she died, we buried her without ceremony and immediately. I didn't allow even a servant to come in contact with some strange disease which might sweep us all to death. But you? Yes, yes, I cared for her. The hours of my life may be counted right now, oh. as well as those of Dr. Simmons. But that doesn't matter. It's my brother Arnold with whom I'm concerned. That's why I've called you in to care for him. Yes, yes. And this is the point that you must understand. My brother Arnold doesn't realize that Lenore is dead and buried. That's not unusual, sir. Many people are like that about death. They won't accept it or believe it. I've had to lock him in his room, bolt down the windows, to keep him from rushing out to find her. Perhaps if he'd seen her dead, sir. Oh, forget. Might... She died of some strange malady. That was impossible. Yes, yes, of course. The worst part of it is that he keeps thinking he hears her calling to him. Claims that he hears her voice. That's why he wants to get out of his room and go to her. That's why you'll have to watch over him carefully. Don't allow him out of your sight. Humor him, but guard him carefully. Remember, my brother's life and sanity may depend upon the good care you give him. I'll do my best, Mr. Judge. I'm sure you will. You realize that I love my brother. You'll be well paid for your services on this assignment, Miss Dawson. All I ask is that you carry out my orders explicitly. Don't let him out of his room or out of your sight. Now I'll take you up to him. If you'll just come along this way. Open the door. Open the door, Bruce. Open this door. And it will be your duty to get him to quiet down. Keep him from pounding on this door. Yes, sir. I presume that Dr. Simmons suggested that you give him sedatives. I'll get him quiet, sir. Open the door. If you don't open it this minute, I'll smash the windows. I'll jump to the ground. Let me out. I'll unlock the door now. I'm going to unlock the door now, Arnold. Get away from the door. Oh, let me out. I've got to go to the door. Now, step back, Arnold. Bruce, where is she? She's been calling to me. Why did you lock that door? Let me go to her. Go lie down on your bed, Arnold. No, never. Don't you understand? Lenore has been calling for me. She needs me. Come now, lie down. Won't you lie down and rest, sir? Who is she? Well, this is Miss Dawson, Arnold. She's come to care for you till you're well again. I'm not you. It isn't I, it's Lenore. And you won't let me go to her. Bruce, why are you doing this? Unlock the door and let me go to her. There, now, it's all right. Everything's all right. Miss Dawson will care for you. You'll get a good rest. And when you wake up, you'll feel a lot better. Your brother's right. I'll leave you now. It's 8 o'clock. I'll have your dinner served in here immediately. If you need me for anything, I'll be down in the library till near 11 o'clock. Then I'll retire. Yes, sir. My room is the fourth one down on the right. Call for me if you need me during the night. I will, Mr. Jensen. Wait a minute. Don't go, Bruce. Tell me, Wellington. Oh, no, Glorious. What is it that's wrong? Why can't I see her? Why have you locked me in here? I've tried to tell you, Arnold. You won't believe me. Perhaps Miss Dawson can explain after I leave. Ring this buzzer if you need to get out of the room. You understand, Miss Dawson? I get away. Get away from the door, Arnold. Locking the door again. He's locking us in. He knows what's there. Now come lie on your bed. No. I'm going to give you something so that you can rest. What's wrong with Lenore? Lie down on your bed and I'll tell you. She's ill. And they won't let me see her. Here. Yeah. I want you to take some of these tablets. I won't take any medicine. I'll get a glass of water. I tell you I won't take anything that will make me sleep. Lenore is calling to me. She needs me. Now take these, please. They won't make you sleep. They'll just calm your nerves. 
take them, and, and I'll tell you about Lenore. Have you seen her? What is it that's wrong? Take these tablets first. All right. That's it. Are you here in the house to take care of her? What's wrong? Lie down now. That's better. You promised to tell me. Close your eyes. I'm going to turn off the light so that you can rest. Answer me. Don't you understand? Your wife was very ill. She suffered from a disease that was contagious. Your brother couldn't let you see her. But now she's out of her pain. You see... No, she's not dead. I know she's not dead. It's hard to believe, I know. She's not dead, I know that. You hear that? You hear that? No, sir. I hear nothing. You must hear it. It's Lenora. She's calling to me. All day she's called to me. All last night, all the hours of the night she's called to me. She's calling now. Can't you hear her? She's still in this house. She's not dead. She's in this house and she's calling to me. Calling to me. Here beside your bed. What's happened? You've been asleep. Asleep? How long? It's nearly midnight. You've been sleeping since I first came into the room. You gave me medicine. You forced me to sleep. You needed the rest. Where's my brother? He's retired, sir. The whole house is quiet. If you'd like me to get you something to eat, no, I'll... but I've got to get out of here. like someone at the door. It is. Open the door. It may be Lenore. I don't hear her calling, but it may be her. It can't be her. But I'll see who it is. Who's there? Unlock the door. I have to ring for your brother if I want the door unlocked. I have no key. Who's there? Who's outside the door? Is it you, Lenore? Why don't you answer? I guess we must have been mistaken. There's no one outside the door. Someone knocked at the door. I think we must have been mistaken. Listen. There is someone outside. What? They're tapping on the door again. It does sound like it. But when I called, there was no one there. Look. Yes. Yes, I am. Doesn't it seem to you as if the door was slowly opening? Yes, it is. It's like it was opening all by itself. But the door is locked. Well, that may be, but that door is opening all by itself. How can it be? Look. Look. Standing in the doorway. It's Lenore. Oh, great heaven. Lenore, you're not dead. You're here. They told me you were dead. Lenore. She's leaving again. Where are you going? Door. 
Wait for me, Lenore. Where are you going? Wait for me. Wait for me. Lenore. Lenore, I'm coming. I'm coming, Lenore. Wait for Hurry. me. Forever. 
she fell in love with Arnold. Not me. Now she's dead. Forever. Sure, I planned it, plotted it. It worked out. The medicine I gave her made her sleep the sleep of death. And we buried her alive. <laughs> we buried her alive. <laughs> Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.